I just <laughs> sorry guys. Hi. I didn't even okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot to send it to Zimbabwe, my favorite places. Hi, Tasif. How are you doing? Hi, Waiter. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sally. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Hi, Rudo. How are you doing? Okay, I'm trying to write. Hi, Kudokashi. Hi, my Stella. I'm cooking, but at the same time, I, I've just been. Hi, Hazel. How are you doing? Hi, Rita. So I'm just saying hi to people for now. Hi, Samuel. Hi, my husband, Mr. Taffy. Thank you. I always look good, don't I? <laughs> oh, God, I've got somebody. Hi, Lisa, darling. Oh, gosh. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Bullet. I can see you. Hi, Rama. How are you doing? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, um, I was one of on one of your lives, and you mentioned that you ha are going. To... Hi, Ashton. Uh, MP from Papi. Is that correct? Yeah, it's twenty twenty three. Yeah. Sorry. Twenty. Yeah, in twenty twenty three. Okay, so if you're going to be MP for Mbari in 2023, I've just got one question for you. Seeing that obviously your work would involve you also communicating with the public, um, would you be in a position whereby when you go out into the community, speak to the elders in Shona or you'd speak to them in English? I don't mean to be rude, but it's just one question that I just had. That's, oh, she's gone. The Tana now on Shona. Honestly, I don't even know why they actually think I can't speak Shona. <sighs> Might not be that brilliant, but I can get by. But it just depends. Hey, Selena, darling. Hi, Ashton. Hi, uh, everyone. Sorry if I didn't say hello. Hi, Hazel. Sorry, she got cut off. I think it usually does that now on Facebook. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Why are you shy? I can only see your hand. Have you frozen? No, it's all right, Bullet. I'll add you back on. It's just that sometimes Hazel's frozen. Because she's frozen. But you guys, you don't even know. I'm not talking about... Um... There's something wrong with Facebook. Whenever I start talking, uh, yeah. it goes funny. I need to talk. Hi. I'm listening. I thought probably you oh, got rid of me. it wrong. I knew I... <laughs> no, I was saying I thought probably you got rid of me. I've no, never I... heard you speaking, Shona. That's why I was asking. Really? Uh, please forgive me if my question sounds rude or anything. No, I've never heard you because most of the time people will pass comments in Shona and all of that stuff. I hardly hear you responding. So that's where my concern is that looking at Mbare, Mbare is one of the oldest cities in Harare and a lot of people in yeah. there would be speaking Shona. So would you be communicating them with them? Of in Shona, sorry, it's not, it's not her fault. It's just that the it cuts off people for the first yeah honestly just multi i don't know where they get it from i'm hungry 
So I just thought every make something paint. Sorry, bullets. It's not my fault. No, 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 no. I think it's the network. I don't know. I keep no, it keeps dropping. It's Facebook. No, so I would like to challenge you to speak to me in Shona for like ten minutes. No, 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 Shona. So how can I now compare it? Then just tell me Shona. Is that better? <laughs> And okay, it's fine. So if you can speak Shona, got it out of Shona for like right. ten minutes. Oh no, I'm different. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> oh hi, Prada, darling. How are you doing? Um. Why am I cooking sadza? I don't want to eat sadza. If you all want to, how are you doing? I'm actually, um, oh, one person who wanted me to add her and then she's completely gone. But now I can't find her anymore. Sorry, there's something wrong with that. I think after the third time round, it'll work out fine. Um, let me just add bullet because she's got, she wants to hear me speaking Shona. I don't know where it comes from that I don't speak Shona you know it oh she's gone she doesn't have her her on button roulette can you come back hi rachel darling sure it life is shown in a fire i don't know about that yeah you need to your your hi william darling how are you doing honestly oh hold on let me just add william one minute let me just add William I've not spoken to him in a long time so this will be quite interesting to speak to him one minute guys hello hi William hello hi hi Ru how are you I'm fine thank you where have you been I have been busy busy have you so, yeah, I'm, 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 today I'm actually in, in, in SA, but I'm, I'm, I'm going back home uh, on Friday evening. Oh, okay. I missed you, though. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye, but are you still coming over here? Yeah, I should be coming uh, maybe uh, just before June. Just before June? But, uh, oh, gosh, sorry. It does that. It's not anybody's fault but it keeps on cutting people off so let me just add william again it normally works after a few minutes it cuts off and then and then it stops sorry it's not anyone's fault it's just that there's a bug on facebook for some reason yeah I'm listening. oh okay so how, how, how have you been keeping oh okay okay how is Harare at the moment? You're not in Harare, are you? In SA? Which part of SA are you in? Yeah, uh, Santo. Uh, Harare is, is okay. I only came in yesterday. So, did you hear about people in South Africa that uh, South Africans are invading Zimbabweans' homes in South Africa? Yeah, I heard so. Oh, gosh. Let me we add William and then I'll look for Bullet again. Bullet, can you come in and out? And then I'll be able to see you. Uh, the network is so bad. It's not the network. Why is he laughing that he said you're in Shandon? Does he even know who William yes. is? Do you know who William is? <laughs> Honestly, some people here, they, they prejudge people before they even know what you do. <laughs> Yeah, especially, especially those ones in diaspora. They, they, they. I, I, I think I have to reserve my comment because I always say a lot of things which these people won't like me about. But let me, let me, do, let me talk about that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, let me just re-add bullet again and then come back to William in a minute, because. 
maybe it works sometimes it can be fifth time lucky and we've tried to start and and stuff like that it's never worked but sometimes <laughs> that's how it taught me and William we are um, when I was in Zimbabwe we went out for lunches and we used to have really good conversations at, I'm adding yeah I'm just adding bullet back and then I'll add William and then you can understand what does William do because there's some people who do not even know who William is and they're just prejudging as usual do you know I'm adding she's not it's not working so let me just re-add um william i need to go forward and find him because i think maybe it's now i don't know sometimes it can come on it could be south africa's issue but it's connecting properly hi william hi how are you sorry it'll cut off and on for a while and then after a while it'll stick on Oh, okay. No, that's fine. I, I think uh, I don't know what's happening, but that's what, what's happening here. Yeah. I we have got a better network warm edge warm rather than here. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So, how's business going? No, it's, it's going all right. It's fine. Can't complain. I had an, an argument with someone about the rural area, and you mainly work um with the rural community oh gosh he's gone again um we're adding back again let's just add bullet because everybody wants to hear me speaking shona so just to tell you i am multilingual i'm not one person hi bullet hi I'm back. The network is terrible. I don't know if it's yours or it's mine. So as I was saying, you were speaking about yeah. the people in Chimani Mani. So let's say you are to go to Chimani Mani. You know Chimani Mani speaks um, Shona that is deep like Chindao. No. Do you <laughs> understand Chindao? Well, I guess Why not? Harari. That's how Harari. Okay, Saka, Saka, let's speak. Saka, let's 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 speak Hararian. Zuara nas. Honestly, people think I can't speak Zuara. I swear to God, this is actually quite funny. I might not be able to write Shona, but that's a different story altogether. Let me just add William again. Someone will basically end up getting a proper. It does that. After a while, it'll come back. I've just added William, but it's not accepting. So, uh, decline the call. Uh, let me just add William again. Sorry, guys. I think maybe there's still a bug on Facebook. Hi, William. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, Sini. So... Uh, I want to do... I, I wanted to be there. Is that I don't know whether that guy is going whether it's a guy or a boy or whatever that called you Parada something Kush. Oh, I wanted to reply to that she idiot. In America. <laughs> she's a girl, yeah. But but uh, what, whatever she is, she's she thinks that you, you need to to uh, 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 I, I think I have to, to to save my comment, otherwise, I'm going to say something better about it, yeah. Because I don't, I don't usually want to answer to fools. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Those <laughs> Prada, you've you've basically upset my brother. Not good. Do you know? Hi, Emmanuel. Hello, how are here? you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm cool. Oh gosh. Did I block you yesterday, Fulawa? Honestly, you guys come up with the same name and then you go, 
I speak whatever I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable, let me just add bullet again. Uh, I'm comfortable speaking English. However, I can be persuaded. Hi, bullet. Oh, I think there's a change. I end up my shops. Your volume. I'm going to my shops. 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 my god. Your accent is not from my writing. I tell them when I have a girl However, they end up my shop. Eh, and those are kind of ones about the carty. Muka in the chimani money. But I'm not going to be MP for chimani money. No, 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 Prada, take that back. Do not insult my friends on my page. You know, please take it back. No, he's not insecure. He's got a he's got an engineering degree. He's not insecure about his uh, English. If he knew who William is, uh, you wouldn't be talking to him like that. Anyway, let's get back to the um, to the program. Why I came on life? I've been seeing a lot of negative attitude from people in concerning the the. Um, the actions that are happening in Shimani Mani and you know on Facebook you know you know and it's very sad that some people can just type on the keyboard and expect to think that actually they're helping the people when in fact when other people have, don't even have a home they've lost their livelihood and they're still getting in terms with what just happened within their community. And then you still still got up our Facebook because we're far away from the whole horror. And then you find when you go to Twitter, you've got people like, you know, the United Nations ambassador. You've got the World Food Programme director showing you the devastation that has happened in these areas. And then here on Facebook, we've got our own Zimbabwean community talking shit. You know, you know, like somehow it's a walk in the past. You've turned it into why are Zani PF people there, right? Any person can volunteer. Yeah, you can go there yourself in your regalia with your MDC red. I'm wearing red today. Does that mean I'm MDC? If I go looking like this to money, money, will they say I'm MDC? You know. Why are we associating uh, stupid things when in fact it's actually people who are suffering? Yeah? So, when people are suffering, let's pray for them. Let's make sure that their life is comfortable than coming onto Facebook, insulting July, July Moyo, who's going out of his way to be the you know the director in the government in order for this to work for the people of Chibani Money. He's working tirelessly. Instead of just saying thank you, honorable, you know, you're doing your bit, hopefully this will work out. Mohungo tuka, muchungo tuka and being disrespectful. You know, somehow some people think it's okay to insult people in in government. It's not fun. You know, unless if you're making you know there's nothing wrong with positive criticism but when it's just been spiteful and some of us are trying to understand what is going on and then you come on to our you know if we share something and then you come on and then you start making your own negativity do it in your house talk to yourself don't write it down you know you save us the trouble because you're giving us neg negative feedback and it's not good because you don't know who is who. Hi, team. You know, some of us, we, we regard those people and we respect them. Not everyone is there to, you know, we love our government. That's the only government we have until 2023. And there's no point of you from your house when you don't even, do you do that to your parents? Your parents born you. 
they brought you into this world and they did not do their best to look after you. Do you go and tell them every day about themselves? So why are you coming onto Facebook to tell us about leaders who have got nothing to do with your personal uh, stupidity in your life? Okay? It is not nice. It's very disrespectful because most of your problems in your life are your own. They've got nothing to do with the government. Yes, Emmanuel? Well, I, when I, we are running away from English, you know, as we never go to school. That's why we are running away from your life, you know. <laughs> why? You can talk Seriously. If you speak short, at least it would be better for us. I just answer in whatever. I Mind you, you know, but what don't get sure that you know, isn't got on boys, they're gonna go on in mind. That's not true. I've always said, you know, hello, Sally. How are you doing, darling? Hope you had a lovely evening, you know. And, you know, I don't understand why people have a problem with whatever language I, I, I express myself if I'm angry. I'll express myself in English. If I'm happy, I'll express myself in Shana. It depends who I'm with. But then you people will start saying, you know, Ano Vaira, de But I am not showing off. I am multilingo, and there's nothing wrong with that. So it's up to you. If you want to speak to me in English, that's fine. I don't even get that in Zimbabwe. You find an old person talking to me in English, like, can't speak Shana and I was just like why are they wasting their time I can possibly but then in a way it's good for them because it will improve their, their communication skills as well exactly imagine that you I mean who says I won't be able to speak Shana to people in Barry who told you people in Barry can't speak English huh who told you that <laughs> So let's not talk about Mbari. Uh, I'm in the kitchen, but I don't think it's the network itself. It's more to do with Facebook because it, it normally happens during peak hours. And sometimes I'm adding people, I'm able to talk to you. And I've got you at the back of my plant, but the, the hub is just in the next room. So... Let me just see if I can add William again, but William's got no. There's this other person. I'll add William after. Yeah, I don't speak to anyone, honestly. I think on average in a day, apart from my mum, I don't speak to my mum that often, but when we look at it, we need to understand that where I live, Shona is not a language that is spoken every day. Apart from you, my Facebookers, where I've been doing a lot of shonering, you know, in my day-to-day -day life, I do not have many people speaking shona to me, okay? So, it, it should be, it shouldn't come as a surprise, but once I become mayor, not mayor, MP, you know, I'll be able to talk to people in shona. Okay, sometimes it's mixed thing. It's a mixed bag of Shona and English, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Thank you, Peter. Hi, Takorira. How are you doing? I think people think actually it's a joke for me to want to be MP, but I want to be MP for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons, you know. Hi, Hello. William. No, Hi, how are you? I'm fine. You were asking something about rural areas. Yeah, because I was having an argument with somebody last time, and I said, um, actually, it was Mushana. And then he said that, oh, there's no, nothing has happened in terms of bringing um, electricity to the rural areas. And I said, no, I think William works on that part, because you do all the solar energy, the renewable energy within the rural community at the moment, don't you? Yeah, we, we, we do, and there are also some other companies which are coming in we, because we piloted the idea and it appears a lot of... Oh, gosh. Right, right, right. Sorry. This is really terrible, guys. Uh, um, it's not really anyone's fault. It's 
Facebook. Hello, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with the network. No, it's Facebook. It's not the network. It's Facebook on his own. It, it just drops. I think they still got issues. They've got bugs somewhere. Yeah, because most of the royal education is being done by the private sector. Uh, individuals which are, which are doing the, their own initiatives and so forth. So basically, it's wrong to say there's nothing going on in the rural areas. It might not be going as, at, the, at the pace people would have expected. Yeah. But um, we, 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 we are doing that. Okay. We are doing that in, in, a, in, a, in a much positive way. Yeah. Oh shit, this is really bad. So, I know Tanga Kutaura because where he lives, I could know people who speak to Akuta Tadzashon. Yeah, that's true, Netai, because what people do not understand is it's easier when you've got many friends than when you have nobody. I can tell you. Only recently, when I joined the Zimbabwean community, I didn't have any Zimbabwean friends. And that's a fact, you know. Um, you know, my husband speaks to me in Shona all the time. And I am replying back in English. It depends what mood I'm in. Right, but it's, you know, no one speaks to you in Shona. So what do you want me to do? I'm not fluent in the language. It's not useful to me in the UK. Right, what is useful to me is understanding business language, you know, you know, and sometimes, yeah, it's nice. I've learned Shona over the last 20 years because of the Zimbabwean community that came here. And, you know, you've got relatives here who've come into it. I've got cousins, younger cousins, who basically by now can only understand my little niece was born here. She understands, but she doesn't speak it, you know. One, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's not a professional requirement to speak Shona. Even being an MP is not a requirement to speak Shona. What matters is you have the people's needs and um, you understand where they want to go, you know. And what matters is um, whether you can deliver or not. It's not really a language thing, you know. So... Let's go back to Chimani Money because a lot of people think I've lost focus with the Shona thing. If I wanted to do a day on a life to say, can I speak Shona please to the people of, you know, Mbari? Okay. But when I go to Mbari, I'll speak Shona. I'll be proper shona -ing. Whatever that is. Nimat ni mikira. Ni sumo. I don't know. Yeah. But the only problem is, I won't be able to write in Shona. You know, that's not my fault. I, I, I don't think I, I have the ability. Even when I look at people writing certain things, and then I want to respond back, and then I just go, oh, forget it. Because it doesn't sound right. You know, in my head. It's... Thank you, Peter. And yeah, I've got, obviously I've got an advisor who's a translator, but obviously when it gets deep, 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 you know, it just depends how you express yourself. If I'm going to be giving a lot of speeches, I'll try to match it up with Shona and English. You know, it depends on my audience. There's no one of me. Look, Mayor Gomba was holding a meeting in the city council in English. In English. Okay. And there was no English person in there at all. And the English was so bad. I was like, what the fuck are these people doing? You know, but that's none of my business. Do you know, I just couldn't understand a word that he was saying. But, you know, he was spending his time Englishing, Englishing, Englishing. Everyone, even an old person who was a counselor was busy Englishing. Hi, Edith. Why are you in the dark? You can't see your beautiful face. Uh, well, I'm not showing you my beautiful face today because I'm putting Colgate on my face. Oh, that's nice. Did you add it? I know. Of aloe vera? No, it's just cold. It's just the close up, the red one. No, you should use the white one, the original Colgate. Oh, really? Yeah, if you use the original Colgate, 
with the aloe vera. Mm -hmm. You know the aloe vera, the original one is quite good for your face. Oh, okay. And then you brush, you get out of, you know, the fresh, oh gosh. Ah, let me get Edith back again. You see, it's not just me. Ah, okay. Let me just add Edith back because obviously people are getting tired of this bit. I'm sorry, guys. It's very difficult for me to bring a conversation and bring it to the fold and stick to the subject because everyone always have their own agenda. You, uh, Colgate is quite good for ex exfoliating your skin and getting rid of, um, what's it called? You know, it actually is quite handy. If you buy original Colgate, and as you can see, hold on, I've got a plant here. Hold on, my house is actually a mess. A very plant here. Original Colgate, not the other versions. The original Colgate is actually good for your skin. And especially when you've got zits, like zits, you know, like when you attach something dirty. I can't add, um, yeah. So you add that and then you open a aloe vera plant, you cut it, and then you add the Colgate and then you rub your skin and then you leave it on your face. And then when you come out, it dries up, wash it off, put a moisturizer once a week. It's actually good for your face. Um, until it's dry, really. You can don't leave it too long. I would say maybe about you can you can't sleep in Colgate because it goes everywhere. So I'll say maybe about uh, twenty five minutes, like any other mask that you do on your face. But it's actually good for getting rid of open pores. You know, so you can go and buy original Colgate, not the other ones. The original Colgate. It's not good for your teeth though, because it normally makes my teeth darker. So, um, you just have to be careful. Uh, just Colgate. Colgate takes gets rid of spots, black, especially blackheads, and those white ones. You know the ones that's got an infection on them. So if you put that all over your nose, wherever you get those horrible spots from, and that should be helpful. Um, I think that's what she's supposed to be doing. Maybe it's the original in where she is, but. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Actually, another thing, uh, we can't talk about that because I don't know who's listening to this. Last time, tea tree oil is good, but not for your skin, but it's good for your other parts, private parts for women to wash out with. It's quite a good antibiotic. Okay, my Stella, you're going. But at the moment, I wanted to discuss, we'll speak soon, my Stella. We wanted to talk about the money money thing because I've been since morning all i've been doing is being on the defense and every time i see something it seems to be aimed at my government and the disrespect is a bit uncalled for july moyo has done nothing to you guys and every time you see him you start calling him names it's just because he's been he's been given the you know the role of being the facilitator in terms of chimani money it doesn't add value when you don't respect, you know, your government ministers when they've done nothing to you at all, do you know? It says a lot about you as an individual because, you know, when I become MP and I have, I have people talking to me like that, I will not tolerate it. July Moya is very nice because he tries to listen to you guys and explains himself. And the more he tries to explain himself, hi, Manix, how are you doing? You know, the more he tells us the truth, you call him a liar, liar, liar. Who are you to actually call someone a liar? Do you know, who are you to call him a liar? What are you doing yourself apart from just criticizing, criticizing a keyboard warrior? Do you know, it doesn't add any value because by the end of the day, someone in Chimani Money is benefiting from his effort. Many people in Chimani Money is benefiting from all those businesses who are calling and asking July Moyo if they can take part in rebuilding those roads, do you know? So don't come over with your full of I know. It, it doesn't, he's not from Chimani Mani, but he's the 
he's the one who's in charge of the coordination of the rebuilding of Chimani Mani because I think he's the local government. I don't even know what the fuck he does in, in government, but it falls under him somehow. So he's basically reporting directly and facilitating and funding from the Minister of Finance goes through him. And then he's basically the caretaker of the whole thing. He's more like the, you know, the reporting minister when it comes to uh, Chimani Mani. Okay. He doesn't need to be from there. While as you have people like Sako, who is the MP of Chimani Mani. So in terms of command line, Perrin Shiri is in charge of, um, of the agriculture side as well as the technicality of um, construction. But he's actually the spokesperson of um, the status report that we're getting at the moment in Chimani Mani in terms of the government outlook. Okay. So he's the person who is liaising with um, the World Food Programme, the South African government who brought a sniffer dogs for dead bodies. He's the one who's liaising with the Red Cross. He's the one liaising with international aid who are coming there and the Chinese who are coming there to help. And all the construction companies who have offered to help us uh, rebuild the roads as we speak at the moment. He's the one who's actually the project manager because he's basically learning in order for us next time how to have a disaster planning uh, when something like this occurs or any other disasters happen, okay? Oh, thank you, my head. It's actually bigger than that. I've pushed it down. <laughs> it's mad. But it's overgrown after a couple of weeks. My hair looks crazy, especially when I, I leave it all tied up. But thank you, Albert, darling. Right, so... In order to understand his role, you need to listen very careful to what the man is saying. There's no point of you just coming up with your negativity and then you come back to Facebook and you start writing lies that you get from Newsday and then you start writing because you're giving a, you're, that's disinformation. You're believing fake news more than the actual person, the witness, the one who's writing the, you know, like it's saying when Jesus had five loaves of bread. And Mark says this, five loaves of bread that were, you know, Mark was the one who was writing for Jesus, right? It's his story. So July Moyo is the storyteller who's telling us exactly as it is in terms of the government, okay? Because he understands all the, he juggles the whole process, you know? While as we cannot listen to Newsday, we cannot listen to Sissy Simba, you know, because Sissy Simba is a stirrer. He's just a little shitty, shitty little man with no life, you know. It's not our fault that he can't go to Zimbabwe. And every time he opens his mouth, it's all negativity. And then he's like going, hmm, 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 you know. So that has nothing to do with anything. He just likes to get people to go to his page and pay money, you know. While as the people, whatever Simba says, the people of Chimani Mani, they sleep in tents on the floor. And the more we listen to such negativity, the more we lose our, um, what is it? What, what do we lose? <laughs> our motivation to, in order, we'll lose sight. So the more nilly nelly we hear, the more people who say, oh, Simba, you say this, you know, the more we lose that energy, that drive, that we had to start off with, you know, the more we ignore when people are saying, okay, we need to get water, we need to get this, we don't want to give, we lose focus as well as motivation to give our money in order to help this uh, people of Shimani money, because now we think all the food is going to ZANU PF people, ZANU PF are stealing the food without understanding that normal cars, normal cars cannot go to Shimani money, you need four by four, I did explain this last night, right so the focus is not on gossipers and little man like sissy simba who have no life in the uk apart from gossiping and gossiping and you know propagandist for mdc you know but it, it doesn't matter they've got their own supporters who like to believe in them you know and then getting jealous about what freeman provided i think it was over he bought very big ten, uh, 10 liters, 10,000 liters water tanks with the money that he got. So he's doing a lot of things, but somehow 
I feel like uh, Simba felt threatened by what um, Freeman Charis managed to do. And then he gave himself the go ahead of speaking on behalf of MTC. I, I don't get that at all. Yeah. Thank you, Stanley. And I'm not trying to pol politicize anything. I'm just trying to stop people because when I see my feeds, I see a lot of bad energy, you know, bad vibe. And when I send, you know, when I share information from the horse's mouth, I'm not doing it because I want to prove a point or anything. I just want people to understand that when we're on Facebook, there's a lot of fake news and some people like to play with our emotions. You know, I had people like hi there yesterday saying, oh, the government, who, oh, you know, when in fact it's a steady ship, it has people in control. You have got many partnerships in terms of the people who are there. You've got world, you know, EU giving us a helicopter. You've got many people's hands who are involved in the partnership of bringing sanity, normalcy back to Shimani Mani. Sunny PF is the government, the, the administration, the won the election in 2018. But what we need to de differentiate is Sunny PF administration team, Sunny PF the party, right? They're two different organs, okay? Not every person who is Sunny PF has anything to do with the administration team. Not every person who's Sunny PF is an administrator. However, ZANU PF can just go to July Moore and say, you know what, we need to do some things as well. The youths went there. They were given tasks by the army because there's command there. There's different structures in command and tell you what you can do. You can't just go there and start saying, I'm ZANU PF, so therefore I'm in charge of this. No, it doesn't work like that. Okay. There seem to be organizational uh, taking place within these areas that we... You know, unless if you've ever worked in a program or in a project that you would not understand. Yeah, but then we don't have many people in Shimani Mani with a four by four uh, cars. You know, I went to Kariba and most of the time when you, your car's not a four by four, the, the way the roads are, you kill your, I can't remember what you kill, but you, you end up with no chassis. You know, because they're so bad. So all the cars that are volunteering, some did not have just Zanu on them. They had different, um, there were private cars. People are volunteering in order to meet the demands of the day. Don't forget, we're feeding people, thousands of people. If you look at the population of um, just the Chimani Mani East, um, I think it's over 250,000 people. Okay. And with the amount of cars there, it would take a lot of effort. I mean, look at what happened in, if you look at the videos in, you know, in Mozambique, it's the other way around. You've got the, the aid leading the way. Mozambique government has stepped down because they do not have the capacity, okay, for barrier. So what they've done is most of the uh, aid um, organizations are leading in Mozambique in terms of medication, in terms of the roads, Chinese, the government just did not where to start from. So there's a difference. While well, the Zimbabwean government has got very technical aided people and they're a bit more wants to take part, you know, they're able, right? This is a problem that is happening within Zimbabwe. What's the point of you having a government which just happens, you know, I was think Mozambique would have learned from 2001 when they had the last landslide, but obviously not. But that's besides the point. This is overwhelming to all of us. And I like the fact that July Moyer comes out with lesson learned that, you know what, we need to buy certain bridges that the army can use just to build temporary bridges that can be used to get things over to the other side. Next time when this happens, we need to be a bit more prepared, but it might never happen, but at least you've got something in the stock. And it can happen in Malawi. You can always lend them. It can happen in, Mos in Zambia. You can always lend them that equipment, do you know? So let's not just look, yeah. Uh, it's 20,000 people in Shimani Mani, including women and children. 
I, I think it's more than that. It's not 20,000 people in Chimani Mani. It's actually, it, it covers Chimani Mani East, Chipinge. So some places have got, it's more than that, actually. They, if you ask, um, go and look at what the UN say. And apparently many kids have been affected by this. Many kids lost, it's more for a psychological thing as well, because they've lost their other siblings. They've lost their parents. So the recovery is not about us on Facebook who are not affected directly, but somehow we feel like it's okay to slay the government because of the election. We're still in a, you know, in a mode. It doesn't help because this whole disaster should be bringing us together as a country whereby we respect, you know, and cherish one another. There is no need to criticize at this moment unless after the people of Chimani Mani criticize the government for the lack of resources that they realize themselves because we're not directly affected by this. Do you know, we're indirectly affected, but not directly like the people in Chimani Mani. We've seen, hi Adi, you know, we seem to think it's okay to say, oh, what did you think of this? Why did you say, you know, it, it, it's, um, it's easier said when you're on the other side. I can tell you that. I can tell you how many times people have said to me, oh, but why? You know, have you ever had a car accident? And then someone says to you, but why did you do it? You've, it's already happened. You know, what matters is the recovery. Yeah. And from there, when the people of Chimani Money are in a better position, they'll be able to tell us, you know what? That year, the government either delivered or they did not. It's not up to us now to start doing the judgment on something we do not have any knowledge of because Newsday happens to do some craziness to suit whatever uh, object ob objectives they have. And, you know, and listening to July Moyo, who's actually mature enough to understand that, you know what, Mayor Gomba was there yesterday. You know, MDC people have been around. One of the, you know, one of the people who are leading the whole thing is actually a mayor, a former mayor of Mutare, who's basically has been given a role to play. But you guys were sitting there, even the MDC people are so stupid, but they're actually criticizing when their own people are taking part, right? So instead of listening to the information, what do we do? Yeah, what do we do? We sit there and we say, liar, 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 you feet, see this, see that. Who wants to steal food? Honestly, do you know how cheap food is in this day and age in Zimbabwe? What's value about stealing aid food, which is just basics, beans, rice? Yeah, there's no nyama, there's no nothing. It's just basic food for people just to survive on day to day. So you want us to go and say, oh, we're stealing that, we're stealing... What for? Honestly, it just shows how, you know, minute how uncouth some people are on Facebook, how stupid they are, you know? If you've got nothing better to write, just don't write anything. Go do your research, go to Twitter, follow the right people, follow, don't follow Zimbabwe, you can follow the United Nations, and you can follow, you know, America, whatever you believe in. You know, any World Food Program has got an update, you know, Red Cross has got an update. If you do not want to follow the government, just don't come over and spoil it for some of us do you know because hi hello mr Techshaw. hello how are you doing today today you're wearing a suit <laughs> yes i'm okay how are you i'm fine thank you my name is mbano could you say got it right I don't uh, know. I'm driving so I'm going to Milan to park up and up and the bombs are near. I know I run that kids are running up. Sarah, so go from base. Hello. So go from base. So go to Milan. Ah. Ah. This phone. It's really doing my head in. Guys, still remember Mr. Bano? Okay, most of the people are not here who remembers Mr. Bano. Let me just add him again, because 
It's very bad when I can't interact with people. Ella? Hello. Coach, man, man. I mean, I rarely, but everything is written to any government. It's okay. It's just my donation. But you are in the opposition. in are in the government. You 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 are doing a very good job. You see? Kutawara nevanu, kuona ukura tiza vanu, kichuru itika. So vanu, vanu, kwa wana nga wachungo nye pounds. He, shabi wa shakati, he, kwa bi wa madiamonds. He, kwa itu wa sesei. Oh, thank you, Obet, darling. It's very hard for me to talk to people today, guys. Um, It's hard to keep on adding people on and then you miss half of the subject. So... I don't know what's wrong with Facebook today, but thank you, Albert, sweetie. I'm maturing because the more I grow, I'll become um, MP for life, you know. So I'm not sure why it always cuts me off. I think I need to do a feedback with Facebook to understand why when I'm trying to add people onto my um, life, why it keeps on cutting off. So, you know, we just need to be positive because what has happened has changed an entire region and it does not pay anything otto you can't really be insulting my guest please he's not you don't know who he is so by the end of the day you can either listen if you don't agree with what he's saying then don't you know but it's very hard for us to have this conversation so i just wanted to let you know that um in terms of going forward let's be vigilant in what we want to hear if we see someone talking complete negative things and they they have no footing in zimbabwe especially like yesterday when we had <laughs> You know, especially when yesterday we had Sissy Simba coming on to Zim I with a video that was, I, I don't know, prejudice, it was quite prejudiced towards the government, towards ZANU, not even the government, because government are two different entities, right? And some people, and then he was using his own narrative and adding his sugar and salt like the gossiper he is. And then some people bought onto it and the emotions were aroused. And then we're back again to swearing and shouting at each other. We don't want that. It's not very good vibe because at the moment we're supposed to be in a prayerful mode whereby we are praying for our country. We're pay praying, you know, for the victims who nobody knows where they are. I mean, it was very disheartening to know that a lady was found with a baby on her back in the whole mass life. She carried her own child and died with a child on her back and then you have certain people who just want to come on here just to insult you know let's think about those people who are still lying in the mud that have not been given the rightful burial that they require that you know and let's think about those kids who do not even know where their family their mother their fathers are and their siblings let's think about that community that has lost everything instead of us trying to score points on facebook and uh, and criticizing you know because after that there's going to be a lot of work that is required and if we start this negative air it would destroy the karma it would we'll just end up having the devil inside us and then we'll eat each other do you know let's be thankful when the army does something well done when the zanu pf does go and help well done zanu this is not the time for fighting Okay, it's okay to fight with me in 2023 election and say, you know what, Ramai, how going is Shona in the soccer holidays, you know, well, I've forgot Brooklyn or White or whatever you want to say to me in 2023. But this is not the time for throwing shade. This is the time for putting our minds together to help the people of Chimani Money and respecting that they are suffering. And it's not the time for insulting our government. The time will come where you can insult them. But at this time, and precise time, 
it's all about to money money so you know i'm not politicizing it i'm just telling you you have the time if you know you can go interview the people but at the moment we still have not reached the epicenter if you listen to july moyer who, i don't know where gangu and whatever places he was talking about but if you listen very well the challenges are still there they're still prominent right and to come out with shade and just to talk because you feel like you're not helping you know sometimes when you listen to people like Sissy Simba just know they're spineless they have no backbone you know Sissy Simba has no backbone whatsoever I he's not a man he's an idiot okay he makes money out of people's misery and therefore you know it is what it is we have such people in our societies and we just have to accept that but the problem is we've got Facebook in the past 2001 when the thing happened we just used to watch BBC but now it's been subjected to, to a lot of I'm not talking about fighting nice son. I'm talking about in terms of what has happened the impact of the people of money money you know so I think social me media can be used in a very cohesive manner. It does not need to be used in in terms of propaganda because the Shumani Mani appeal is not a propaganda thing. These are people, living people, breathing like you and I. You and I could have been in Shumani Mani. We're just lucky by, you know, by chance. Okay, so let's not think we're above it. We are not because it's just by chance we happen to be in a better area okay so we should not criticize when it's there's no need for it that's all i'm saying okay because it's not political this is a tragedy this is a strategy that has affected people within our community and i will say rightly the government has to be at the forefront of bringing um closure to the whole thing because it's a we are a country we are Repu republican and it's, it's not really by choice that Zanu PF have decided to go there and help, you know, they can feel the pain as well. They are Zimbabwean citizens. And no one is stopping any MDC people to go. Last time I told you when I was online, when, um, you know, Nyepai Goromoni, what's his name? Goromani. Yeah, Nyepai Goromani, Chamisa, obviously, went to um, Chimani Mani. What did I tell you? I told you the man missed an opportunity there because it could have been mature and wisdom would have told him to go meet Sako, right? And built up that relationship. You know what? It would have been nice to see Chamisa being mature, to go to Sako. Right? You know, and as the MP, Sako, he was supposed to go and say, ah, Sako, he was in Chipinga doing in the command line. See the other people, go and say, parents, Siri, what is going on here? That shows maturity. You know, you swallow your pride a bit because by the end of the day, it made him look very immature. He was busy walking around and stuff like that. But him as a mature person, look at Mr. Gomba, you know, Mayor Gomba went there and he worked alongside the government. OK, it doesn't matter. You you forget about yourself for a little while. Therefore, that's why you see many people like Sister Simba who, who are de campaigning the government. I don't know what they think they're doing trying to throw shade right because the leader when when they question um leadership but i'm afraid to say in terms of mdc there is the lack of leadership there's a lack of mature leadership it, you know it, it shows if they were in government what kind of disaster there would be because it shows the lack of reasoning that you know what if i go into chimani money whether who is the mp there is my friend do you know you know, so by the day, I don't know what I don't know, <laughs> but by the end of the day, right, Jamisa missed an opportunity. Now he's sitting there, yeah, going to see Kama. I swear to God, when he could have been making strides, even if we saw him you know carrying the cues and helping the cues do you know what i would have been proud like yeah that's my brother from mdc but you guys forget that and then you come and you use your energy towards people who are doing something you know you use your energy to be negative online 
you know, now some of us have got, we've taken it as a job. I might not be doing this for so long because I'll be busy from next week going forward. But we've managed to take this on as a job in order to stop this fake news and disinformation. And basically we're fighting people who've got this habit of bringing negativity into the Jumani Money thing on Twitter, on Facebook. Because last time we were sleeping when you did your, your nonsense, but this time we're not. We are a viable team. We don't even talk, but we understand what is going on. So we are helping to make sure that people stay focused. That's what our role is until I get, obviously it's not my full-time job, but whenever I get the chance, I will do it. I still got time, you know. Okay. So Orba says the main thing is we're doing a fantastic job of this, but Zana PF is trying to hijack everything. Zana PF is not hijacking anything. Zana PF has not even hijacked a thing at all. Zana PF volunteered. There were uh, there was an alert put by the government to say we need m manpower, right? I, manpower, the youth of ZANU PF decided to go, the women of ZANU PF decided to go, women's league is there, ZANU PF um, youth league, the guys are there, right, they're helping in terms of the queues, in terms of the kids who are being orphaned, who need motherly care and stuff like that, who just need to be looked after by someone, do you know? <laughs> I'm not bashing. I'm just telling you the truth. Your president missed um, a chance and opportunity to be mature. And therefore, that's not really my, that's not for me. It's up to you guys to go tell him, you know, behind the door. You can go do that. I can criticize my president when he's wrong. And, but it's up to you to criticize yours. Hi, precious. They can come in whatever clothes they want to be identified with. If they come in Zanu PF Regala, they want them to remember 2020, uh, 23, that Zanu PF as your party, we came in to help Sako. Sako is an MP belonging to Zanu PF. Therefore, I wouldn't mind if the youth of Zanu went to support Sako. You know, if MDC want to come in with their own regalia, you're welcome. Just as long as it's peaceful and respectful, you know. And you can bring your own Nepali your Ngoromani as your chosen leader who can tell you what work to do. All you need is just find your own little patch, go to Parent Shiri, the army. They'll tell you, you know what, there's dead bodies that needs to be dug on this corner. MTC, go dig there. Yeah? So, you know, there is life after Tamisa, but I'm just saying. It's a matter of just cooperating and working with the people. Whether you've got your regalia on, as long as you're not there to fight with anyone, you're doing your work. That's all that matters. You can come wearing 50 regalia, chamisa, chete, chete, you know, with your, with your wheelbarrows written chamisa, chete, chete. What is required is the manpower, okay? You can wear your chamisa, chete, chete, t-shirt, you can cap and say, Muribo, Zanu, PF, Tazo, Nana, 2023. But as long as you're doing your best to enable the lives of the people of Chimani Mani. Okay. Have we got that now? We've got the rules of social media. We've got the what we need to do in Chimani Mani. So I would expect you as MDC to go there and pick up your own use. As long as they're not going to be vulgar and cause stir up and be respectful to each other. Because we are grown ups. As we are. Look. I've got my small house, Obet, he's uh, MDC, but he's willing to be my small house. You see, it works well, you know. There's nothing we can't intermarry. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've had a, a nice time with you, so now I can go back to my cooking. Uh, it's a shame I cannot add people. Next time I'll do a live, tomorrow I've got an interview, about my Shona no there's no fights they can be mature my you know zani pf youth are very respectful i'm sorry to say they've changed their patterns now there will not be any fights if it's done they listen to their president and they listen to the commanders in terms of behavior i need to go and take pictures or something my husband's just asking me if me taking the pictures right so there will be no fights so just like me and obit Obit is my small house. We don't fight about politics. He respects my words. He comes over and he respects me. So there's nothing wrong with that. You know, 
I've got many MDC people I speak to on here and we respect each other. So next time bullet, we'll try again. Um, tomorrow, I'll see tomorrow if I can try and then I can add you on and then I can have a conversation with you and Shauna. But tonight it was just about reminding people about, you know, social media awareness in terms of bad news and lies upon lies, upon lies, upon lies, do you know? So, <laughs> thank you of it. All right, so thank you guys. It was lovely speaking to you. And I hope to speak to you tomorrow about Mbari early on, because usually I do my late night stuff where we're just talking. But I'll try my best tomorrow to do my MP stuff. And then we can talk about if I'm available tomorrow, I'll see. I will make myself available and then we can talk about um, my MP from Barry 2023. And then whoever has any questions to ask me, you can come ahead and ask me then. So I'll just leave it open to you. Okay? Because usually we do it at night, but today I just thought, let me do it earlier. Because I miss an audience. The audience at night is a bit... Normally it's just my perverted boyfriends. Do you know? So... <laughs> Okay, Martin. Later. We'll speak tomorrow then. Bye for now. Love you loads. Mwah. <laughs>